What's up, everybody? It's, uh, I don't know why I did the sing song. Why would I do a sing song? Like, why would I do a sing song voice? I, I don't know. I did it for you, I guess. I just want to make people happy. Listen, I know what you're seeing. If I'm, I'm okay like this, but if I go like this, boom, reflection, right? I get it. I am, like, tragically, stupendously sorry to you, and I'm serious when I say that. I, I always sound sarcastic, everyone tells me, and I'm Honestly, it's just my demeanor. I'm like, I'm a sarcastic sounding asshole, I guess. Like I'm some kind of crazy um, son of a gun. What can I tell you? So anyhow, there's going to be some reflection tonight sometime because I decided I wanted to, I was going to record this video on my computer and go back to like using the good cam and mic, but uh, I want to use the computer actually just to look at some stuff. I decided I'd keep it lo-fi again. We'll use the cam on the uh, iPhone, because the iPhone cam seems to do pretty good. It's a little bit quieter, but the audio still seems pretty good, like, surprisingly. Uh, I mean, I'm quieter because I'm talking quieter, and honestly, like, my, I have, like, you know, when you look at an iPhone mic versus my giant, like, you know, streaming mic, it's quite a difference in quality in terms of, you know, the build, but th the audio quality comes out, like, pretty close. So it's a little bit boggling to me that, like, honestly, I'm not, like, an Apple fan. Uh, fanboy but like uh, and I hate like these multinationals but like yo they did a good job with this holy cow okay so I just wanted to go over today the concept of um, America absorbing Canada into its warm embrace like Canada becoming part of America uh, it's something that I've, you know, wished and hoped for, and let's turn my, turn my phone there, sorry, it's something I wished and I hoped for for, like, so many years, you know, it's, um, like, when I came back here, I was almost convinced, when I came back in the early 2000s, I was kind of convinced that, like, it would actually happen, like, that we'd eventually be absorbed, just because, I don't know, culturally, we're not that different, Everyone wants to talk about how different we are, okay? And we're not really that different. Like, clearly because we have different political parties running, you know, the political lines are different. But in terms of, like, the actual, like, material culture, it's not that different. And the reason for that is because, I'm sorry to say this, you know, fellow Canadians and international people who are watching this, trying to learn about Canada, like, I don't want to disappoint you, but Canada is kind of like a cultural leech in many ways. Uh, we're, we're on, the like, one of the largest unguarded borders in the world. I think it's the largest unguarded border in the world um, with another country, and, like, growing up, like, you'll, you'll, you'll be consuming, like, 80% of the media, you, you, you know, that you see is probably American. Most of the products we have are influenced by American products. All of our celebrities end up going to America, getting called Canadian actors and Canadian this, but they stake their entire careers and lives out in the States. I'm, I'm going to do something right now just so I can turn my computer back off and get rid of this annoying uh, glare. But... There's a reason why I want to do a little intro first. I wanted to just go over some job postings here so you can see like what the average Canadian is dealing with here. Um, you know, if, if you're a guy like me, who's like not the average person and you actually have to like rebuild from scratch, I want you to see what you're dealing with here when you're looking at the job market, okay? What the options can be. Um, and this would be for a guy like in my position looking for something, okay? Uh, I will be addressing sort of the idea of the fact that it seems like we live like at first it was like it seemed like orwellian to me you know there, there was this very like orwellian vibes happening and i guess there kind of are but like at the end of the day i almost feel like we're living in like some weird novel that was like co-authored you know by uh, franz kafka and then and uh, kurt vonnegut you know, like, it's like one guy started it and one guy finished it or something. Like, it's just, it's, um, it's absurd. We live in a surreal exist, like, a reality. Like, our existence is just so surreal. And I mean this internationally. This is not a Canadian thing. Just 
for that. Anyhow, uh, let's dive into looking at some jobs here real quickly online. I just want to look at like, a, a few random job postings so I can tell you, you know, what the pays are. So you can see, you can like, if, if you're someone like me who's got like nothing, again, I mean, like, the, never mind a guy like me, the average Canadian, if they are in okay, you know, shape, like average Canadian, you know, in okay shape, whatever that may be these days. And if you're looking for a new job or you you got, you know, you're out of your job and you, and you need to change your career, whatever, these are your options. This is what you're dealing with. Okay. Now you tell me how with the cost of living right now, we all know how much fuel is and groceries are. We all know how much housing is and rent is. You tell me how you make it on these wages. So here we go. Let's see here. Sorry, that was my big old hand in the way there for a second. Uh, da, 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 lead generation specialist. So this was something I was looking at because it's in the city that I'm in. It makes it easy, right? It is from from thirty five thousand dollars a year. Now that's Canadian dollars. If you were to translate that to American dollars, we can do that right now. Let's have a look here. Um, thirty five thousand CND to USD. So that is about twenty five thousand eight hundred and forty four US dollars. Um, and what would you be doing? That is a lead generation specialist for an insurance group. You're helping them generate leads to come up with business. And your pay is honestly, I, I'm pretty sure that's roughly what Walmart employees make in the US. Maybe like, I could be wrong about that. Maybe that's like um, a little bit more than that, I guess. But like, I'm pretty sure that's like, you know, 25,000 US is, is um, not a lot of money. And I know there are a lot of people not making a lot of money, but I'm pretty sure if you worked at like McDonald's or Wendy's full time at like 17 or 18 US or 20 US, you'd, you'd be pulling that in. Like, let's see here. Let's do something real quickly here. Another little thing. Um, 25,000 per year what would that be your hourly rate? That would make your hourly rate $12.99. It's like, it's like you'd be making $13 an hour. So yeah, so about $25,000 US, which is what this works out to be roughly. Um, <laughs> like 26,000, sorry. It's basically like working at this, like, like getting the same salary you would get as being a retail merchandiser or a cashier at Walmart in the States and that's for being in Canada as a lead insurance generation specialist. Like tell me something's not wrong with the work market, the job market here. Um, program lead, safe management group, uh, another company here, $28 an hour. Like that's actually a decent salary. Okay. Like that's, that's half decent. They offer full time and overtime cool look at this one here this one is crazy and you won't see stuff like this so that 28 is kind of like odd you won't see that very much this one here though one other company um it's a technology company i should probably stop naming company names not that it matters like i'm not saying anything bad about them I'm reading their job listings right um this one is offering 7 to 75 um here's a marketing coordinator marketing coordinator for a real estate company in Vancouver BC which is more affordable than no I think it's slightly more expensive than Toronto actually I think it's actually outpaced Toronto now 48 to 54,000 a year so that's for a marketing coordinator full-time let's see what that becomes in US dollars Um, bum, bum. we'll go with the 48 we'll start on the low end because the way that most of these jobs work is like the the higher pay comes for your experience but the experience doesn't matter in the industry the experience with the, it, it, it's it's like usually company experience if you've never worked with the company you have no experience with the company even if you have company or sorry even if you have industry experience 
no company experience means you get the starting entry wage for the company until you get the company experience then you can get the higher wage it is a tricky tricky system we have here okay forty-eight thousand into usd so that's roughly thirty-five and a half thousand, and that is um, marketing coordinator pretty sure in the u.s marketing coordinators make a lot more than that let's see what marketing coordinator in the u.s makes let's have a look here average marketing coordinator salary in the u.s average marketing coordinator in the u.s the average oh my god i'm so sorry my hand again i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm not thinking straight because the camera's on the left side i am so sorry this is the worst video and i'm, I'm not going to edit that out so you can all make fun of me in the comments don't give me a thumbs down for that but you can make fun of me if you want um so the as of march 22nd 2024 the annual average pay or sorry, average annual pay for a marketing coordinator in the United States is 51,594 US dollars. The same job here in Canada is paying you, what did I just say? 35,000. Again, what is that? That's roughly 30% lower, right? So on average, it's 40% lower. You know, it's more so in the tech industry that it's worse. Clearly here, this is not that much better. It's around 30%-ish. Um, there's a UX design job. I don't think this one's listing. Yep, this one won't list the price, or <laughs> price, won't list the salary. Here's a staff writer. I've never seen anything this high, but it's a bilingual and you have to be Korean and English uh, speaking, like fluently writing and all that. Um, but, uh, but, uh, Somehow they're paying 160 to 170 a day, which still only equals about $20 an hour, right? Eight hours, $20 an hour, 160, so roughly $20. It's an eight hour expected day is what it says. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, this one here is AI training, so mathematics, STEM. They're willing to pay around $54. Uh, that's something that you wouldn't again expect to find in canada too often but again with the higher end tech jobs and the more in demand stuff they will start to pay a little bit better because people get recruited all the time like again i just i found a reddit a young man from toronto had been recruited for what he said was double his salary double what he was offered in toronto to start doing the exact same thing and they paid for his move to go to the states they gave him like other options and stuff. Again, look this stuff up. I'm sure if you look up on Reddit, like uh, certain questions, like, I mean, I can maybe even try and find the link myself and put it in the thing, but that seems like a bit like we're stalking the person. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm just talking about the story. Um, let's see what else. So here's a content, UX content strategist, between 40 and 60 an hour, um, temporary... This is full time, actually, this is good. This is a good one. So 40 to 60 for UX, haven't seen that in a while. Like I've seen UX, but not that paid that, not that high paying. Freelance journalist, doesn't really say how much. Well, here you go, between 300 to 700 a month. I mean, again, that's a big range. 300 a month, 700 a month. Like it's, it's not per week, it's per month. So even on the high end, $700 per month. Expected duties are like journalism, photography, like got to have a valid driver's license and a reliable vehicle. This is Canadian dollars. So 300 to 700 per month. 300 US or 300 Canadian is like 200 US. Like <laughs> 700 Canadian, that's the high end. It's probably like around 550-ish US. Like, I'm just guesstimating here, and this is going to change depending on the rates, right? So today's value will be different, but, like, come on. That's for a newspaper. Um, here's another UX. Let's see if we can find a salary anywhere. No salary, but 10 to 40 hours. You know, this one might be something I would apply to because it's... Uh, 
It's remote. It's full time. This part time, full time. I actually know this isn't something I would, I would even apply to because it just seems so sketchy. If I had my desperation, I probably wouldn't should. So you never know. Maybe after this. Um, here's another one. Okay, so look. This is right around the corner for me. So remember, ideal for me, we're, because it's around the corner, and it's actually something right up my alley. Communications coordinator for a private company, a small business. Um, 22 an hour. Full-time. 22 an hour. Full-time. Okay, so what's 22 an hour? Uh, U.S. 22 Canadian, so $16.24 US is what you're getting paid to be a communications coordinator for small business. Phone calls, emails, booking appointments, basic knowledge of market principles, business to business relationship, coordinate digital website and all social media, uh, manage a marketing budget, create a year-round calendar of marketing initiatives, oversee the patient experience for $16 US. Sales marketing manager for a spa, medical spa, medical. You'd think medical, this would pay well. Between 40 and 45,000 a year. So what is that in American dollars? Let's see. Uh, $45,000 in American. So 45,000 Canadian is 33,000 American. And that's for working for a medical spa. As their marketing, sales marketing manager. Here's an entry level sales representative. This one is not bad, 800 to 1,000 a week Canadian. So again, you're looking at between probably 500 US to 750-ish US a week. Still, that's not that bad. You know, so I can eat my pro pie or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, no, I'm trying to stick with things that mostly that I could do and the average person could do. I'm probably gonna do like two more and then move on to something else. Administrative assistant, you know, I'm probably beyond this to be honest, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I can't lift right now. There's only certain things I can do. So, but here, an administrative assistant, 35,000. Maybe we went through that one already. Purchasing manager, something I would probably be able to do and should easily be able to do. It's like a business, a business kind of operation. It's a uh, home decor company, 45 to 55,000. Again, that's like starting at 33,000 US. Like this is to be the manager of the purchasing division. <laughs> oh man. Like, and you, how do you live off these wages? Um, I was just watching where is it here? What's the guy's name? Let me find the guy's name so I can give you this guy's proper info. He's another Canadian streamer. His name is Clyde Do Something. And he's now in a bit of a position because it looks like he's going to have to find a new place to live. One sec. It looks like he's going to have to move I was watching a video of this is, and uh, his landlord has now increased his rent to $3,995, 4,000, right? Basically a month, let's call it what it is. They're asking for 899,000, the houses in the same strip, if you're gonna buy one, $900,000. They're not even actually detached, they're, they're townhouses and they're probably 25 to 35 years old. Very plain, kind of small. Okay? He's going to have to uproot his entire life, he said, probably. 
because he, he can't afford it. He has to find somewhere cheaper to live. It's like me. I've been looking at like moving to like Nunavut and like the like crazy extreme areas that no one wants to go to. I don't want to go to. I hate the cold. But you know what? 